Um, hi. Do you want the best players on the game? Wait, do you want the best player on the game? Ben off Ronaldo, get the money, get all the money. So you want the best players, make sure you go check out MuleFactory.com for cheap, reliable, 24-hour support. The safest place to get your coins. And make sure to use the code DMONEY5 at the checkout and you'll get yourself a cheeky discount. So let's get into the video. So it's been a good month now and I haven't bitched about this game yet. I mean, that's probably a lie, but... Let's get into this video. But you know what's been happening recently. I've been getting a lot of a lot of tweets, a lot of messages about what am I wanting to do with what's happening right now. And what I mean by this is that FIFA right now is in a weird stage because of certain things with the game and certain things out of EA's hands. That's kind of. Uh, I've done a few polls on Twitter and people just aren't playing the game as much as they used to. People are you know, back in previous FIFAs and it's. I'm going to talk about FIFA in terms of. What's gonna happen with it? What is happening to it? And what can also happen to it? The first things first is a discussion video, so I want you guys to give me your opinions down below in the comments down below also. And I want you guys because you guys seem to enjoy these kind of videos, not almost kind of like ranting videos, it's not exactly ranting, but it's exactly just me talking to you guys about my thoughts on the game and my thoughts about me in general in terms of YouTube. And I am predominantly a FIFA YouTuber, I've done many, many, many FIFA videos in the past since I've, you know, passing back in FIFA 13. Now we've got to a stage that FIFA YouTube side of things is slowly moving away from FIFA, therefore, if the big guys are not doing FIFA so much, it's hurting me as a content creator as well, and fortunately for me, I've made an audience that you guys seem to enjoy, kind of whatever I do, as yesterday was a Fortnite video, um, you know, Visitors Fortnite, a one-time video, and you guys seem to really enjoy that, like, the video's view-wise has also done really well, which I can't thank you guys enough for that. And the day before that was a parody video of God's Plan My Drake, that I did a FIFA parody of it, which you guys also seem to enjoy, I mean, I know it wasn't the best, I know it was a parody, it was a it was a piss tape pretty much, but you guys still seem to enjoy it, which yeah, yeah, I can't thank you guys enough for that. However, now with FIFA right now, Foot Champions is such a massive thing that it's taking the fun away from the game. And so many pro players are now just stopping playing the game completely because mentally wise, it's too much. I mean, let's put it this way. I mean, I'm a FIFA YouTuber, they're pro players. Pro players, they put in so much time in the weekend, so much time during the week to play so many games of FIFA in a gameplay, which I may as well say, it's shit. And when I say that, I don't mean in terms of it's like utter terrible I mean as an esports game it's not good in terms of how much is out of your hands and that's why even EA Sports it's 11 feet 11 players you can't control every single player however there's things that's in EA's hands that they keep on fucking up such as the gameplay keep on changing it you know by game by game by day by day by night by night and they don't tell us they 100% change things about this game without telling us so as you see by the record and we're currently in late February almost and I've played over 500 games on my main account on FIFA let's come Compared this to last year, which even last year it was about almost the same. I think it's just a bit less. That around this time last year in February time, I played the game about 500 games. Which if I compare it to FIFA 14, I had over 700 games without the foot champs and also without the squad battles. If if there, if there was no foot champs squad battles, I probably would have over only played about 200 games on FIFA 18. Of course, for me, do I want FIFA to be successful? Of course I do. Don't want to put my time into this game. Of course I do. However, there's things about this game which is just so frustrating and it's literally so hard to try and love this game. You can literally watch so many content creators that play the game a lot, also you know, the Penfez and Nick 20 and people like that that play the game a lot to put so much time into their game and they hate the game so much. They when I play FIFA, especially when I'm streaming, it brings me down so much. People just can't be honest with it anymore. Now am I whining like a bitch again? Most likely. I mean when it comes to the game like presentation wise, it's amazing. It looks so nice and so fluid and looks so bright and the colours it looks good as well. It's just the gameplay that they've made it less fun for the common player and more harder for the they've only seem to only care about the top one hundred and the top sixty four players for foot champions that seems we already care about which of course you know that's where your money's at well other than packs and that's where your esports side is at which they are pushing very hard i understand that but other than the pro players there's so there's so many people out there that just want to play this game for you know whether laugh of the maze and maybe put a few coins into the game and build a decent team you know for their favorite team or favorite players and then that's ultimate team that's always been the main point of ultimate team build a team with players that you enjoy and then maybe build a meta team, you know, back in FIFA 12 days. Let's look back on FIFA 12 days before there's, you know, eSports was a thing, before Foot Champs was a thing. People building Brazil for squads and skilling and making skill compilations, having fun with the game and trying to, you know, rainbow flicks here and there and 
his long shots from 40 yards out. Yes, it's not realistic. Yes, it's not how real football is played. But it's not. It's a game. It's an arcade game. El Shuey one of the best players in the game. If you look at his stats, it makes no sense. But he was still amazing. And I love that man. And to be fair to EA, it's not just FIFA 12. FIFA 13, they had a bunch of OP ass still players back then as well. FIFA 14 as well. Ma Malapa and Eddie Johnson. That was insane. He still had a good still players then. Field 15, Dyke Mayer. That's the only one I can really think of. Maybe one or two also decent players as well. Nowadays, you don't, it's just Bakayoko. It's Bakayoko. It's that, that's, that's all it is. You don't see any OP silver scores anymore. That Cristiano guy, he's shite. Because so many stats mean something now. Because each stat now makes sense to, to the player. Which I guess makes sense. Of course it does. However, when it comes to an all-round fun game, you don't see me playing with a Burnley squad and then smash people on, on foot champions. Unless a gorilla, that's just not going to happen and I'm just going to get frustrated as fuck for the game because all I'll come up against now is four icon teams. So I don't even know what I want to do this stage because people want me to play Fortnite and people want to you know, see me do different videos and I want to do different videos as well because of course it's helpful to get out of one target audience and branch out into different things. Of course I love to do that and fortunately I feel like I am able to do that. However, more 75% of my audience is FIFA that Fortunately, I'm not completely 100% reliant on clickbait to get views on YouTube and for you guys to enjoy. However, when it comes to that, 75% of my audience is FIFA. I've still got to keep that in consideration. So that's why I'm talking to you guys, so that you guys can also talk back to me about what should I do. And this could be a massive video about me rambling and rambling on about a bunch of nonsense, and I, I, I understand that. But I feel like I need to do a video like this on about FIFA right now and on about, because of course, Fortunately, we're show you he's done a few videos, pack openings on it. He doesn't play the game anymore. Obviously, when he did on FIFA 13, 14, when FIFA was thriving. KSI, he doesn't do it now. And the bigger YouTubers, like the Miniminters and Cal Freezes and them lot that used to play it as well, they made it big, they're not doing it as well. AJ3 is now a massive thing now. And Nepenthes is a massive thing now. The things of that kind of content is all kind of serious and not... Yeah, you know, not the kind of content that we used to have before. When the world shows the screaming, the, the you know the rage and stuff like that. Now it's a lot more serious and a lot more uh, about the game and about you know, all the stats and the scrub building and all stuff like that. Which of course makes sense. Do your own thing, but there seems there needs to be a different side of the audience that. There is still an audience there for the rage kind of things and for the funny and the, for the bouncy and the weird side of things that hope, and, you know, I try my best to try and do because I'm that, I'm that kind of guy, I like that kind of content and I'm going to make content that I would watch if I wasn't myself, obviously. And yet again, I may just be going on a massive tangent here but I just want you guys to understand my thought process with the entirety of this. So Fortnite, people don't like it, people like it, people hate it, people love it. Of course, whatever I do, I cannot win. I want to do more football stuff. You guys just seem to enjoy what I do anyway, but... I need to tell you guys how I'm feeling right now and about everything on YouTube and everything on FIFA wise. And I want to play this game. I want to be good at this game. I want to try and play foot champions again, you know, Elite 1, Elite 2, Elite 3 and at least Gold 1. I would love to do that. But the thing is that this game is so frustrating right now that I just can't do it. I don't have the mental stage for it. So that's why I respect so many people that actually play this game for foot champions and do well at it. I respect them so high. So what promos are coming up? We've got foot birthday, we've got team of the season, we've got all kinds of stuff like that. And the biggest thing, which I feel would dictate how good FIFA 19 is and the audience for that is the World Cup mode. So much lies on that World Cup mode for not just FIFA, not just for the actual game itself, but for the community on YouTube as well. So much lies on that that I pray to you, EA, if you ever see this, please smash it. Please put everything that you have behind that and make sure that it's a success just like the field 14 one was if you do something just, just like the field 14 one then i'll take that i will love that don't do what you did for field 16 that was shit do the field 14 one or the fever 12 one that you had a, a brand new game with a brand new idea and that was sick there's something like those two i'd be happy not field 16 that was shite Thank you very much, and I think like I said, I think that's everything I need to say about this current topic right now. Just, right now, I'm still going to be doing FIFA stuff, of course, but I feel like doing this video just to talk to you guys. So yeah, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts about FIFA and the FIFA community on YouTube, and what should I do as well. I'd love to hear guys' thoughts. I'm still going to be doing FIFA, of course, because it is... I, I still love to play FIFA. It's just, it annoys me a lot. And so some of you guys still may enjoy that content because it's me raging to shit. So, you, you guys still have that. However, FIFA content, and I may be doing one or two videos outside of things and try and branch out into the things as well because you guys seem to enjoy whatever content I do. And with that said, lads, I'll see you guys another video another day. And thank you guys for watching. My name is Mazel. See you.
Let's start. My team, even the bouncers bounce when they saw my team. Who do you wanna holler? Who do you wanna never know? Don't be a sheep when you can be the goat. Great, it's a full time and you never know. Don't show up to my show if you've got no energy. 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 energy.